Welcome back, friends, to Large Family Meals of the Week and whatever, whatever other adventures are going to arise. We just got back from the beach. Was it yes? Was it yesterday or the day before? The day. The day before. The, yeah, it was yesterday, but the day before. And just in time for Mother's Day, thank you to Aura Frames for sponsoring today's video. Use code JMORELL and get $30 off the Carver Mat Frames plus free shipping with code JMORELL. Offer expires 514. Terms and conditions apply. Click the first link in the description below. The day before yet. Yesterday was our first full day back at home, okay? I am the only one that still has some bags that need to be unpacked. Everyone else is unpacked well. We do still need to clean our van from that trip too. Let me show you what food is going down already. For breakfast this morning, I had two duck eggs and half a cup of cottage cheese. A lot of other folks had bagels and English muffins in various forms. Look what is going down now for happy day, midday snack, I don't know, whatever we're calling it. What we have? These M&M mini holiday cookies, they were marked all the way down to 99 cents a pack. I think, did we take these on the vacation trip too? No. We took them all the way to Outer Banks with us. These things have traveled. They made it all the way back home. And so today I was like, you guys need to get these packed. So I have my five-year-old and my eight-year-old are gonna break these down now and get them on these pans and bake them up. And yay, happy day. But we have had some creative, creative, Tool time, <laughs> tool time. What do we call this? Turn around, turn around, turn around. We got, is this a battle ax? Yes, I do. Made out of extra cardboard and duct tape. I will say cardboard and duct tape for a creative kid homeschool day goes a long way. This was made by my eight year old and it's awesome. I think, oh, and let's, let's show them, the, look at the inside of a shield. It's just so great. I love it. Good job. And so these cookies are going down because happy day. So when we get back from a trip or you know any kind of adventure outing and we are returning home and getting back into our routines, the first day is cut is a, a pack and, and just pull the house and pull life back together as much as possible. And I had a lot of business and family life administrative work I had to do yesterday. Like, hello Wills, hello Trust, if Travis and I die one day, you know, like legal stuff that had been sitting around I needed to do, more tax things, just all the things. All the things that was waiting for me when we got home from vacation. It was like, oh, today's the day. So that was yesterday. And so today is our first day back to homeschool daily life rhythm. And even with that, we're not hitting the books hard on our first official day back. We are doing a light entry back with our stack of read alouds and then Monopoly is gonna be three to four hours of our life, and then we are gonna reassess. I think by the time we're done with that, it's going to be, because right now, it's 12.30, okay. I'm thinking that by the time we're done with that, it's gonna be six or 6.30. We need to get dinner going in slow cookers and stuff too. My plan at six or 6.30 is I'm gonna have some big kiddos get some roasted potatoes in the oven while I work on my mess in my room. Clean your room, mom. I mean, really. Then we will have dinner. Basically, the day is done after dinner and then jobs. What else do I have on my little list here? I'm gonna have an evening story time with my younger kiddos. And I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. I am, don't tell me I'm not, I am. It's gonna be great because starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be back to getting up early so I can get my mama work time for my course that I'm working on in particularly and some just, you know, I work. <laughs> so besides my filming, I need laptop time. And so I'm gonna flip myself back around getting that done in the morning. Again, now that our feet have hit the ground, back home in the mountains. And I think now, oh, and there's a watermelon from vacation. Look at us. We will go shopping downstairs at our basement grocery store. Ha ha. Everything is frozen. Nothing is defrosted. That's okay. We will figure it out. Also, my seedlings are not looking happy. Oh, oh, look at this. I had 
just in doing morning jobs today. Like I hadn't seen this yet. Wow, wow, that looks nice. I had bought this fresh outdoor rug and fresh umbrella, and we got some new pillows, but they're mixed in with the older ones anyway. My 12 year old got this set up for us this morning, nice. Okay, so the lights are off on them now. While I was gone, we did have some folks here who were taking care of our animals and they watered these for me and such, but and the lights are off now because they're on a timer. I mean, I guess these are okay. A lot of these are not okay. Look at them, they're laying flat over. Why are you flat over? Okay, and I had these, well, these feel dry. I had asked yesterday for these to be watered um, when I was giving out jobs. Maybe they just absorbed all that? I don't know. Not, we're just, things aren't looking happy here. Things are not looking good. Things were, I watered everything heavy before I left and they were watered while we were gone and again, they were watered yesterday, but I think I need to do the watering today. Um, and then my peppers look like they have not germinated at all. Like nothing, nothing going on there. <sighs> okay, so we'll deal with that later. Um, one of my viewers in my recent Homestead Mama video just encouraged me, and I know this, this phrase comes from Kimmy and other places on the internet, but the whole progress over perfection, right? This is progress, this is not perfection, if I needed to even say that. I'm going to get this trim drain taco soup that's been in here since January. I'm gonna get this out to frosting, so hopefully this will be something edible for tomorrow. I uh, am hoping to later this week do two dedicated massive food prep and freezer cooking days because it just really needs to be done. Okay. And folks ask me how I keep inventory of what is in my freezers and in my downstairs refrigerators and honestly, I'm just in them. I'm in them often. I am using the food items that are frozen and the food items that are fresh. I do this usually most days I'm down here and checking in on things and seeing what needs to be moved to the front, what we need to cook up coming up soon. So it's a whole mental inventory game with this mama. <laughs> Okay, I think this is all that we're taking up. This is for tomorrow at some point for myself. These are two roast. I'm gonna do the cold water defrost method on them for a bit and then get them going in the slow cooker. We will add radishes in there. I'm thinking what else we'll do. And I'm also thinking maybe we're gonna add some of this Olive Garden Italian seasoned dressing to kind of be like a little marinade for us. I think, I think we will, why not? Then what else was it we were doing? <laughs> Roasted potatoes. And I'm gonna do radishes. I think they're upstairs because I could not find them down here. I do have Brussels sprouts that also can be cooked, but I'm hoping the radishes are upstairs. I'm back upstairs now and the cookies are in progress. And now I am taking some time to do a mama scrubbing on our main table. We wiped down our big 16 foot table and our countertops several times a day, every day. And this is where a mama scrubbing was needed at this end. The toddler eats at this end often and my younger kiddos. And so I'm just going through and wiping it down. I have a hot soapy washcloth and I'm giving everything a good scrub. All right, so I just ran down to the basement. I found the mystery of the radishes. They got thrown into one of the freezers, which totally happens and is fine, and they will cook just fine. Also have this bag of baby carrots that we've had here for a couple weeks. So not now, in a couple hours. I'm just, you know, eyeballing all of this. This, the roast right now are on high, but in a few hours I'll throw them on low, and when I throw them on low, I will add these vegetables to it. It's probably gonna be a six to seven hour process before we actually eat this roast and vegetables for dinner. But um, 
I mean, I could dump these in now, but I'm not. So there we go. And now here's our long, long afternoon Monopoly time. Here is our big winner with, with all of those Monopoly properties and all of those Monopoly bucks. And this is what we call educational fun game learning. Okay, so we were just counting. Monopoly took a good five hours. Yeah, we have a final winner. Also getting dinner going here. This is Tobin's plate. I chopped him up the carrots and the radishes and little meat pieces. And hey, we have some little banana eyes tonight, but he loves these little bowls. And then for the rest of us, I'm chopping up the roast and then we have the carrots and radishes there. And then also we had cooked some uh, sweet potatoes in the slow cooker the other day. And these, it was yesterday, pulling my days together. There's three left, so some folks might like these too. Okay, friends, different day, different meals. These are some pizza bagels that the kids made last night for dinner, yesterday. What even happened? I'm trying to remember. I had to go out in the evening. They made dinner at home. I'll, I'll save you a story, long story short. They did pizza bagels, but they know how to make enough so that they have they have a good bit for lunch today. They'll have to add in some more fruit. They also had a watermelon last night while mama was gone. And for extra fun, we have a toddler oh, okay. with a yogurt. You working on your self-feeding, huh? But we also have some, we have um, Lightning McQueen, I almost said Mater, and then we have Toe Mater, and then we have a big Lightning McQueen, and they're eating bop, yogurt with bop, you, bop. aren't they? Bop, 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 and bop, your face bop, looks amazing, bop, but you've done this on bop. your own. You ate your yogurt and you fed your cars. Good job. Say good job. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. Okay, so I have my trim train taco soup. It's an easy THM Trim Healthy Mama recipe I made in bulk in early January. We ate a bunch of it then, and then I saved I think, two gallon freezer bags, two or three. My large family meals of the week videos will tell from January, but anyway, I saved some bags. This is my last bag of it, and I'm going to just warm this in the slow cooker, and myself and a few other folks will enjoy to have this for dinner tonight. My problem, my problem, I don't like to have this problem. My problem is I don't have a lot of food prepped and ready to go in the freezers, like, you know, breakfast stuff and lunch stuff. Um, I do have some more slow cooker freezer meals. I could have had one of those defrosted. Well, like I said, last night I went out to work on my course. I've shared with you that uh, I've had a business course that I've been working on, wanted to get it done last summer. That's kids playing, having fun. Didn't get it done um, for various life reasons, but I'm back now to working on it. My goal is to finish that course in May and to launch it in June. I like to, you know, it can all happen, right? So I went out last evening from like three to nine and worked in a local small town like coffee shop area and really grinded <laughs> some more outlines and stuff out with that. And, and sorry, I need to eat lunch, but I also need to tell you about my soup and tell you about this food. So anyway, last night I knew the family could do pizza bagels and a watermelon. Tonight, I don't have anything planned. And it's kind of late. I don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight. Stick with me and we'll figure it out because tonight, I, my goal is to sit and plan out. I need, I'm doing two big freezer cooking days. Oh yes, I am. I'm doing Friday and Saturday. I'm having my three teens help me. I hear them goofing off now and we are gonna bust out so many breakfast and lunches and dinners and it's gonna be amazing. So, but now I feel like a mom who doesn't have anything ready for dinner, but I will have that soup and I don't know, maybe I'll have the kids do scrambled eggs or something. I mean, we have a lot of eggs. I actually wanna freeze dry some. And from our trip, we had a whole week of eggs coming in. So we're a really ahead of production. So maybe we'll do breakfast for dinner, but I won't cook it. I like that. Good morning. I am doing just two duck eggs for myself this morning. And I will have that with some cottage cheese. The kids made Brenner. They made breakfast for dinner last night because like I told you, mom is not cooking right now. Although today I'm doing two big freezer cooking days. So I've saved up all my cooking points, right? And I don't know what I'm doing with these eggs here. We're just scrambling them up. Anyway, they did breakfast for dinner. They know how to do big batch scrambled eggs. They had enough for their breakfast this morning. And so that's why I am doing my duck eggs now for myself.
There's my mama breakfast. I've got about a cup, two cups or so of some spinach underneath my eggs, two duck eggs, and half a cup of cottage cheese. Yay! So now we are really getting into things. I have three of my teens who've been helping me today. We're doing a big batch freezer cooking day, focusing on lunches. I have been getting some other office hours business work done on my laptop for the last hour and a half or so. But I gave everybody jobs and everybody's just been productive and doing all kinds of things. Well, good morning, happy new day. I am sticking a bowl of, it's just old fashioned oats and water in my microwave. Add some stevia, add some Greek yogurt, some other things to it here coming up. So that's my breakfast. Tobin is having one of the homemade pop tarts that one of my kiddos made yesterday with our homemade strawberry jam. Look at us, yay! And he's also having some watermelon and some yogurt with your truck and your bus. So yesterday we got so many lunch freezer meals done. We still have, I've got chicken prepped and some taco meat prepped. I still have two other taquito recipes and another quesadilla recipe and a sheet pan quesadilla so it's really convenient to do like eight to twelve at one time put in another sheet pan on top to warm it it's just fantastic i'm like why haven't i done this in a while so we got a bunch of beef and bean quesadillas done yesterday that are wrapped in the freezer plus many of the kids had those for dinner last night so today this morning coffee oatmeal then I'm finishing up, but again, stuff is prepped. Those three recipes. Then we're going hard, doing a bunch of massive breakfast freezer meals. And we're getting the stove cleaned off and ready for another cooking day. And then here, we got our party going. So here's parts of his little homemade Pop-Tart, and then watermelon, yogurt, trucks. You got little accessories, huh? Happy Sunday. This was my breakfast as we were riding down the road to church this morning to Greek yogurts and an apple. Okay, so we are back home. We are getting ready for our big birthday party for another family member who's coming over. So we have some potatoes being washed and then we have some eggs that are gonna be boiled. We're gonna do um, deviled eggs and roasted potatoes. And then we're gonna get these potatoes chopped up. I'm just bossing people around. That's why it's loud in here. So I'm just bossing people around. My kitchen team of helpers here but I'm gonna have them chop up these potatoes. We'll, we'll roll them in olive oil, whee! <laughs> and get them on this pan. Thanks again to Aura Frames for sponsoring today's video. Get $30 off Carver Matte Frames plus free shipping with code JMorell. Offer expires 514, terms and conditions apply. But click that first link in the description below, use my special code JMorell, and get your $30 off the Carver Matte Frames plus free shipping. Friends, you know me. I am a long time YouTube mama and picture taken mama video taken mama and let me tell you this aura frame has really outdone itself I had a digital picture frame years ago that you had to put the little SD card in and change that out but aura frames is really something different right now aura has a great deal for Mother's Day where viewers can visit the link in the description to get $30 off their Carver matte frames plus free shipping with code JMorell. This deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so don't wait. Terms and conditions apply. Aura Frame, again, just in time for Mother's Day, is the most giftable frame ever. You can upload unlimited photos and videos from anywhere in the world using the free Aura app with no fees ever. I have the app on my phone now, and I can go through those thousands of photos on my phone and quickly connect them to my Aura app to play a wonderful slideshow that the whole family enjoys. But even more than just sharing within our household, you can actually invite your favorite people. You can invite your family members and your friends to interact and enjoy the photos on your Aura frame also. If you buy now and save yourself time, you can preload your mom's frame with personalized messages, photos, videos, and more. All she'll have to do is plug in the frame and connect to Wi-Fi. And you can even preset the frame with your loved one's Wi-Fi, so setup is already done on arrival, which is really great if you have some less tech-savvy relatives. 
And I will say we absolutely love this Aura frame. It has been such a wonderful addition to the Mega Mama kitchen. The kids, the family visiting are all having fun watching the slideshow of pictures go by. And again, what's also really neat is you can invite other family members to connect and share photos as well. So again, friends, just in time for Mother's Day, click the first link in the description below and get $30 off the Carver Matte Frames plus free shipping with code JMORELL. This deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so don't wait. Terms and conditions apply. And now I am going to town peeling down this butternut squash. So in a little quick Walmart grocery pickup order for this big family birthday party that we were doing for 15, I had ordered some yellow squash and some zucchini that I was going to saute up and they replaced the yellow squash with the butternut squash, which is just fine because I can peel it down and cube it up. And I decided I was going to do sheet pan butternut squash and sheet pan zucchini. And here I am just taking all the seeds out because my pigs will love these squash seeds. They sure will. Butternut squash is harder to cut up than yellow squash or zucchini. It is still worth it. Many times I will roast the butternut squash and then use it from there. But on this day, I had the time to cube it up and I had the time to do butternut squash and zucchini on the sheet pans in the oven. And we make a big old pile of it. And now I'm getting all the butternut squash in a, not the biggest Mega Mama bowl, but a, a runner up Mega Mama bowl. And now I'm going to slice down my zucchini. Now I will roll the butternut squash and the zucchini in some oil, and then we will get them laid out on a sheet pan. There we go. Now, yep, big pile of zucchini. We're going to dump that in also. And then I add any seasonings I would like on top of this and roast them in the oven. And here we go. That sheet pan's looking beautiful. Now seasonings on top. I use some basil and some thyme and some onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. Sprinkle them all on there. And now I think I'm going to fit that big sheet pan in my small oven. Mm-hmm. No, no, not going to work. So that's okay. We'll just move it on over to the bigger oven. It didn't heat up quite yet, so I was able to, yep, take it out. Tested it with my fingers, though, and got it in the bigger oven. And now we are rolling chicken tenders in olive oil and adding seasoning to those as well. So we have our three sheet pans of roasted potatoes. These are also rolled in olive oil with some salt and pepper. These are ready to go. And I'm, get, I'm getting the chicken in the oven and then we're gonna also get the potatoes in the ovens. And then we have some nice scraps for the piggies. And here's the birthday cake and some birthday flowers for our birthday family member. We got a homemade cake and homemade vanilla icing that one of the kids did and some flowers and some candles. And there's our beautiful, so delicious butternut squash and zucchini and roasted potatoes. And now we have a deviled egg party going down. One of the kiddos has made up several dozen deviled eggs and they like to mix the filling and shoot it out the end of a baggie there to fill all the eggs. They got their own system down. And there's the steak that Travis grilled. That's our grass-fed, homegrown steak. And there's the chicken pieces that I baked up. So it all came together like it all came together as a fantastic dinner party for 15. And there's our beautiful eggs on those boards. And we've just pulled this yummy birthday celebration dinner together. Well, happy Monday. Again, no makeup mama here. A cough, we're good. Milk, okay. 
breakfast this morning. I am replaying, because we do, yes. I cooked super mega yesterday, but those le those leftovers from that big batch cooking will be used in various ways over the next few days. So that was a big brunch yesterday, and then we replayed it last evening again for dinner, and this is my breakfast. So I'm gonna be sharing this with the two-year-old also, but I have more of our sheet pan vegetables. I have a steak, and I have, this is three eggs, but again, I am sharing. But that's my Mega Mama breakfast. And kicking off another fresh homeschool week, it's a rainy day. Weather report, rainy day. Supposed to rain like every other hour all day long. I have some teens with a big three or four hour activity tonight, but today during the day, hopes and dreams are, we're hopes and dreams are we're doing our morning thing, morning jobs, eating, shuffling laundry, cleaning bathrooms, picking up bedrooms, all those important, you know, animal care, the list goes on. Doing those morning things. And then I hope to get some game time in this morning where a lot of times we enjoy getting outside for an hour or more in the mornings because it's really good for burning energy. We're doing indoor games and then moving on to our school time stuff. And happy new other day. It's trying to be winter in Virginia, so I'm bringing out the red looking. Like, let's just pretend it's Christmas because it's so cold. My coffee pot that I bought in December. You're with me. The Keurig I bought in December, and I had bought one maybe three months before. The one I bought in December, it's now been four months. We got four months out of it. Not even that. We had to get a new one today. So I don't know. Will it make it? I guess they're disposable, like every three months disposable now. But because of the emergency, Travis did go and get my mom and I just some hot McDonald's coffee so we could uh, make it through the morning. <laughs> and then he went to Walmart and got the other Keurig for us. And then also for extra fun today, I was told by our 19 year old son that the big oven was not working last night. And I, when Travis came home with a coffee pot, I was like, hey, would you like another problem? Usually when it comes on, this blue light kicks on. For the small one, turn that on and you'll see. There you go. See how that blue light comes on? So, and then you hear the fan. And so for this one, there's no fan and there's no blue light. Mama really doesn't want to return to the days of just having one small baby oven. I know Travis is on the job though. So, I think he's gonna call Z-Line because, um, yeah. And also for lunch now, we have, we still have some leftovers. We've got a little bit of the chicken left from all that big chicken we cooked up, but I did have a kiddo bring up our homemade taquitos that we did in our recent freezer cooking day, and she just heated this up in the microwave. These technically are not defrosted yet, but one minute in the microwave, and she'll have some other stuff with it too. Gonna do some sour cream? Yeah, yeah. And this is my mama lunch. I am having, I had, it was a little steak and some chicken. There are no vegetables with this. I'm going to drink a lot of water. And this evening you'll see, we are gonna do a little mega mama meal prep because I have a me, myself, and I work trip that I'm doing. I got a local Verbo and uh, I got a big project. I've really got to hammer out for about 36 hours and we are going to pack and prep my food. Kids just finished with a lot of their table work now. And like I say, different ones, most have eaten. I got one or two more that still need to eat. I am eating. Then we're gonna start our big afternoon read aloud time, cause in homeschooling, I am, you know, I don't do everything right, but I am the read aloud mama. Oh yes, I am. I can read aloud to my kids for hours and I love it and they love it. And it's just a core part of our homeschooling journey in year 18. So we're gonna get that done. Then I have a phone call this afternoon. Thanks for listening to my itinerary, but it's only like a 30 minute call. Then we're gonna do our meal prep for my trip coming up. And you love that tomato soup that I make, don't you? Yeah. And I have several, several kiddos who love the different components I'm making. So I'm not gonna make a large family size of the tomato soup, but we'll make a good enough size for myself and a couple others who will enjoy it. Obviously anyone can eat who they like. And we're gonna also do a bunch of the salads in jars, hard boiled some eggs, but let's get to reading now. Or actually let me chew my lunch and then we'll get to reading. Okay, mama, reporting back in. Nice full day, friends. It's, uh, I don't know how, somehow it's 7.20. We did all the things, all the lessons. Minecraft, Uno, trouble with the little kids as well. Lots of long reading this afternoon. I think we read until close to six. So I don't really know what happened in the last hour. I got on my phone, I checked messages, I responded to some emails but just kind of a mind numbing, like I got on my phone for an hour and 
I was productive most of it. It was work stuff, but still, that's not what I wanted to do with my time right now. I don't know if that ever happens to anyone else. So, so I'm leaving tomorrow. We're gonna do our school in the morning and I'm gonna actually have a podcast interview in the afternoon with a friend of mine. Uh, my friend Lisa over with Farmhouse on Boone. I'm gonna be on her podcast again. And then after that, I am leaving from tomorrow afternoon, probably about three. And I will get back late Thursday night or early Friday morning. I'm not going far. I've just rented like how I do once a year maybe. Like it just depends if I have a big big project and what's coming up. Sometimes it's easier for me to just rent a little place that's a few minutes away. It's hard for me to film big projects in here. I know I do my big cooking days. But even that, a lot of times when I do my big cooking days, the family will be in here, they'll be coming in and out. I just might have to do voiceover later for those segments and such. And this kitchen is big enough that, you know, they can be over there and I can be over here and I can still be cooking and working and all that. But I'm trying to film all my videos. I don't know that I'm gonna get them all done because it's gonna be like 60 videos, I think. But I'm gonna try to get as good of a go as I can on getting my videos for my successful business mama course filmed. So I'm gonna leave tomorrow afternoon. I figure tomorrow my plan is for the whole afternoon and evening, I'm gonna work on more of the layout and the planning and the notes and all the, all the puzzle pieces that have to come together for it. And I am going to sleep there. So I can just work late, sleep there, get up Thursday morning, be fresh and just film all day long Thursday. And we'll see, I might, I might have to do this again in a few weeks. Um, or I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll, we'll figure it out, right? So all that to say, I wanna prep my food for this little excursion. The family here has enough food. I'm going to do that tomato soup that I was talking about. We're gonna do some salad in jars. And we'll do some hard boiled eggs so that while I'm gone, so I have dinner for tomorrow night without having to think. So I can get up Thursday, have my breakfast there, and have my lunch and my dinner, just all my little meals I need because knowing me, I would be at some rental house five minutes away, you know, spending 30 minutes making my food. So we're gonna do that now. And there will be some left for some of my family folks who would like some tomato soup and salad in jars also. Okay, so I'm just pulling together what what things I had available here to do my salad in jars. I think I'm just gonna use this Olive Garden dressing because why not? At the bottom of every jar, and I have just enough of these. I think I have five total. These were 50 cents at Sharp Shopper. And then I'll do some with tuna, some with chicken. We'll chop up this pitiful looking celery and these carrots. And then I have some spring mix over here also that needs used up. I'm not gonna do more than five, I don't think. And now I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should. Well, okay, <laughs> this is gonna sit here for a minute. And then we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna use, you know, our tomato sauce we use. We're gonna use our tomato sauce and our broth. And we are gonna do some homemade tomato soup. I'm questioning myself because I'm thinking, oh, well, when I get home, you know, late Thursday night or Friday morning, depending on how my filming goes, it would be nice to have some more jar salads at the end of the week and going into the weekend. That's my mind always works in big batch cooking, right? But we'll see. I'm being real with myself because I'm tired and it's been a long day. Somehow it's now eight. So, you know, so I'll, I'll see how the ingredients divide up. I know we made this nice and thick. That was my first go at tomato sauce. So we'll see what changes as I do it more. Add in some broth now. Is that about my stove side not working? But one of those things that, besides talking to you all about it, I just can't do anything about it right now. It is on Travis's list for him to make some phone calls. We will deal with it. Okay, and that's beef broth. A lot of times I make this with chicken broth, but I'm making it with the beef broth today because that's what we have canned. I don't have any chicken broth canned. Hello, future projects. I did I can chicken broth? I canned poultry. I did can broth. Okay. 
And so I am adding in my several jars of tomato sauce and several jars of broth. I'm also talking to someone else who's been gone all day and getting an update on their day. So I did, what was that? Three of my jars of tan canned tomatoes. Just did some basil in there. I've done three jars of broth. I have two or three more that I had brought up here. Just eyeballing this. We'll also add in salt and pepper and a trip nutritional yeast. I quickly had access to five more canning lids that have been used off of jars, but they've been washed. So and I quickly found the ring, so that's kind of where I've gotten my answer now. Now we're going to do 10 salads. Okay, okay. I will have my three for the trip, and then there'll be some for the few folks at home who would like them. Plus when I get back, there might be one. And I'll feel better about it. It just doesn't feel as right, just only prepping five salads. But I am trying to just do a mini meal prep. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, and so now I have some eggs here. Put, well, I guess I can put them in there. Usually I put these cast iron pans in one of the stoves, but since we're going to have to work on this stove, but again, I can't think about that right now. We will use my cute little first big pot I ever bought that I still own. And I know some of you might ask, if my stove is not working because of the gas level, but the stove is electric and the range is gas. I purposely did not get the gas stove. You know, I could have had gas stove, gas range, but I probably know three other people that do a lot of food content and they they have trouble with their gas stoves. But you know, so I was thinking, okay, electric, as far as it's not like heating evenly or just not working in general. So we'll see, we'll see how my saga unfolds. Okay. Then I had to buy these eggs for some breakfast freezer cooking that I started that required eight and a half dozen eggs. And I think you probably saw, you saw some of that in this video already, but we didn't get all those meals finished and I just had to pause and I will finish filming that video this Saturday. So I have some eggs left from that is what I'm trying to say. Woo. And because I didn't have eight and a half dozen sitting ready for my chickens, I bought some. But as always, I need to take some water out of this pot. All right, so the soup is going. Still, like I said, I need to add salt and pepper, nutritional yeast. And then some folks like to add a little heavy cream to this on eating day. Uh, and there's the eggs that we're gonna boil. Again, I will take some for myself and leave some prepped here. But I'm not doing a big mama's leaving mega food prep. We did get our super mega massive lunch freezer meals done, cooked, filmed between Friday and Saturday. And then that's where I say we at least started the breakfast ones. I had a live with my membership and a lot of other things go on in that evening. So when it got to be about nine, I was like, okay, well, we prepped and we got two or three of the meals done. So the rest is gonna have to move to my next big dedicated filming day. So the family while I'm gone, they have those lunch freezer meals and other items Travis might grill. I'm just not worried about them, but I do want to try to have less that I have to do while I'm gone during this concentrated work time. Alrighty, so finally, jar salad making time. I've done these a bunch before, and I am just pulling together all the different just the odds and ends. I did not shop or prep or have any plan to do this, but when just didn't think of something easy, I was like, okay. 
Okay, soup and salad, that is easy for me to take. So with your jar salads, you do your dressing on the bottom first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then you place any vegetables on top of the dressing that are fine to soak in the dressing. So that would be like this perfect, the celery and the carrots is just fine. Um, then you could do vegetables that you don't think would do so well in the dressing. And then you can do your meat and your cheese and you end the top of the salad with the lettuce. And then from there, when you go to eat it, you just dump it out in a bowl. So that is good. We're just making good use, using up these little Olive Garden salad dressings here. And now I'm also using up the last of a random bottle of ranch in my refrigerator that needed to find its purpose in life. And this celery is looking pretty sad as well. So I just cut the ends off of it and went to town chopping up this celery. And I will put that down in the dressing. have to get some more celery out for this because you know I was originally planning for five and of course we've doubled it And so celery is one of those things that is just fine to soak down in the dressing. Also carrots, and that's just the only vegetables I have available besides my mixed green salad pieces. And I'm going to try so hard to get the last of that ranch dressing in that last jar, just enough to get a salad out of it. And these will stay fresh as long as the lettuce does not touch the dressing. So you want to make sure that you layer everything properly so that the last thing you put in your jar is your lettuce. And that will stay fresh at the very top for up to seven days. And the great thing is with so many farm animals, these little celery scraps and the peels from the carrots, I mean, those could be frozen to do a vegetable broth later, but I am feeding these out to my pigs on this evening and they will not mind about that at all. So I did have a request on some with no carrots. So I didn't do any more carrots and that is okay. I got my tuna opened. These are what's left in the fridge salads. Okay, so next it's gonna have to be the meat because I don't, I guess I could do the bacon bits, right? My kids will eat bacon bits like snacks. <laughs> and I will add bacon bits to all of these. I don't think that'll be a problem. Now, if you're over in my Large Family Table Community membership, our included paid product this month is 10 beautiful salads and jars. Now, those are with thought out ingredients. Got some beautiful salads over there. Not what's left in the fridge odds and ends salads, but these will still be great and it's a fantastic way to use up odds and ends in the refrigerator, right? And get some prepped meals out of it. I've got salads now for my trip, so that'll be easy on me. My folks at home, the few who would like a salad with their lunch will have salads ready to go. It's super, super yummy. 
and our hard boiled eggs are probably done over there. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take six hard boiled eggs. I'm, I'm thinking for breakfast, I would do like hard boiled eggs and yogurt. It's hard to think, you know, meals for myself, but I would, again, try to make it easy. I did drain my tuna already. Usually I drain everything into the pig and chicken bowl, but we just took pig scraps and we don't have another, another bowl set out, so it should be okay. It's like when we were at the beach house, it was so hard because we threw our little odds and ends scraps in the trash. And we were like, this burns, this doesn't feel right. And here I'm going to chop up these little salami pieces and do a salad or two with that being the meat. And I'm going to place my drained chicken in some jars also. You can do chopped up deli meat or any meat you would like. And now I have my drained tuna and I'm gonna add my tuna to jars. And now I'm sprinkling in a little nutritional yeast on every salad and I am cramming all the lettuce. We have almost two boxes of spring mix here and you will see by the time we are done, we are done. <laughs> we get it all in the jars. So I guess that's a benefit of not having a lot of other toppings or vegetables or salad things to put in these jars is we really use up this lettuce and that's great. This lettuce was left from our beach trip. We brought it all back home and now look, we're using it up in our jar salads. And I'm just reusing my lids from other canned goods that we had opened. I save those lids to use for things such, such as these jar salads. I won't use them to actually can again, but I will use them on my jars for things like this. Okay, so these uh, spare veggies in the fridge salads that I made turned out looking very, very nice. And we will definitely be using these over the next few days. They are so pretty and colorful and turned out just perfect. And another thing I'm gonna prep, if I have these lemons cut, I will use them in my water. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. I use lemons in cooking also, but if I have them chopped, I will roll through a whole bag of lemons over the course of a week having fresh lemon water. So there's the lemons all cut up and now I've got a couple bedtime apple request I'm gonna cut up. And here's how I cut my apple slices by flipping the apple over and cutting a pound sign pretty much across the apple. I learned that from the King of Random years ago. And that's the little apple cutting trick that I always like to share with friends. Okay, so this small container of hard boiled eggs, this is just gonna stay here for random snackiness for my folks, but I have these eggs packed for myself. I have lemon packed for my water. I have this, it's actually a pretty large bowl of the homemade tomato soup. I have two of these small little chicken tenders from the other day, you know, finally. I'm gonna just take those with me. And then like I said, I will pack four of these salads. I'm also going to take my wasa crackers and my light laughing cow cheese and probably some apples. I'm, I'm sure I'll throw some other random things in there, but I'll share those with you. So thank you so much for watching this Large Family Meals of the Week video where we did, we had all kinds of meals. We had all kinds of situations. We had, I didn't, I wasn't expecting my big oven to stop working. What's up with that? I'm so sad, that's okay. Stay tuned, I'm sure in the next Large Family Meals of the Week video, we will be working with that and, and bringing answers and finding answers. I'm gonna wrap up my mini Mega Mama meal prepping, and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye. Bonus content, bonus content. Another use for my big basket to haul my jar salads from my counter over to my fridge. Thanks again so much to Aura Frames for sponsoring today's video. Click the first link in the description below to get $30 off the Carver Matte Frames plus free shipping with code JMORELL. This offer expires on May 14th. Terms and conditions apply. And remember, this is a perfect Mother's Day gift 
so well thought out for you. Click the first link in the description below to get your $30 off with special code JMORELL.